Today's video is called, You Kinda Had It Coming. I lost my temper today twice, which is very rare for me. And the second time I lost my temper today was in a restaurant. And it was a serious problem that was going on. And I lost my temper and everybody in the restaurant is clear about what happened. And it was with my client and we'll leave it at that. But this is what I'll tell you. I'm sure along the way, and myself included, so when I'm speaking to you about this, I'm speaking about how my friends and people in my life have come to me along the journey and said, hey, Kim, right? So I'm sure along the way people have said to this person, hey, you really should check in. You should back off this and do this. You know, oh, oh no, this person didn't want to listen, right? They still don't want to listen. And I told them, you dang lucky I didn't call the cops on you today, right? So you kind of had it coming. And if the situation had really blown up today, the person's friends would have said, you had it coming. When I went through my rough times, and I went through them several times, and I only caused them myself. I am very clear. There is no one that gives me trouble in my life but myself. Not my husband, not anybody else in this world. I manage myself. I finally get that. But I can tell you along the way, my friends told me, they mentioned to me, they took me to the side quietly, they raised a brow, they asked me. There were some friends that quit hanging out with me and others that never left my side. And here's what I'm going to tell you about friendship. Nobody was wrong in what they did. We are simply girlfriends, okay? We're not psychologists and doctors. We're not meant to take the brunt of whatever it is you're dealing with chronically, constantly. If it's pill popping, drinking, shopping, gambling, whatever it is, get professional help. Maybe it's just being angry and gossiping. Maybe it takes you losing your kids. Maybe it takes a divorce. Maybe it takes a DUI, some jail time. And I'm, I've heard a lot of these people say, well, uh, what's it going to take? What will it take for you to stop it? To stop blaming everyone else, to get yourself healthy, get your head clear, and get happy. What's it going to take? It took me a while. I didn't achieve it overnight. I did classes and courses, and then I was, a, I was the one that would raise my hand and act like I knew the answer when I wasn't the teacher, which is so utterly annoying when you're trying to teach someone. And I was one of those people that thought I knew it all. And I would say, ooh, no one wants to mess with me. Like, why would I even want someone to know that? You don't want to mess with me. Well, the lady saw that today in the restaurant. And nobody's seen that in a long, long time. It's nothing to be proud of, losing your temper like that. So I want to tell you, you can have a great, happy life. If you're in an abusive relationship, leave. Verbally, physically abusive, leave. I did one time. If you're unhappy, move on. It's really that simple. Keep only the people in your life that make you happy. I don't care if you've been friends with somebody a long, long time. Move on. People have not, people aren't friends with me now. I'm not friends with some people now. It's okay. People are in your life for a reason, season, or a lifetime. And this lifetime is very short. We're in our 30s and 40s and older now. I can put you in line with the people who can help you achieve that goal. But you got to be willing to do the work. And you might not be willing to do the work. I remember the first time my coach told me to get out into uh, nature twice a week. Well, I walked around the neighborhood. Stupid birds. Stupid birds. Now I have bird houses in front of my bedroom window and can't wait to wake up in the morning. Come on, people. You know what you need to change. You know what you need to give up. And you know what you need to stop doing. What's it going to take? 